What makes Pikmin unique? You know, the GameCube had rather prominent launch titles, unlike a certain current generation console. Two of these titles were actually developed by Nintendo, Luigi's Mansion and Pikmin. Released on December 2nd, 2001, Pikmin was a new IP for Nintendo, starring Captain Olimar and his cute little Pikmin companions. What was developed to show the processing power of the system, Pikmin became a popular series, spawning two sequels, two remakes for the Wii, and getting Olimar into good old Super Smash Bros. The series is praised for being a fresh take on the real-time strategy genre, being from a third-person perspective rather than top-down. And although it is a unique trait, other titles such as Battalion Wars have replicated the idea, but it never felt as intuitive. You see, what makes Pikmin unique is how it keeps the core of an RTS, but makes it natural for even non-RTS players. Let's begin. The premise of Pikmin is simple. Olimar has crashed landed on a planet inhabited by the Pikmin race. With their help, he must collect the missing parts of his spaceship in order to make his way back home. Although the sequels have slightly different goals, the central concept is the same. Collect key items, such as ship parts, to beat the game. The gameplay elements are all based on this end goal. You control Olimar, and from the RTS perspective, he's just a glorified cursor. You guide him to guide the Pikmin to break walls, attack enemies, or collect objects and return them to base. Along with collecting main objective items, Pikmin can also harvest enemies and pellets and turn them into more Pikmin. When you break it down, Pikmin truly holds on to a lot of RTS gameplay elements. You need to build up your army, you need to break down walls in advance, and you need to handle enemies carefully since Pikmin are very frail. The difference is that Pikmin is very simplistic by comparison. Your Pikmin have intelligence, they know where your base is, and overall they don't need too much guidance once you've sent them to do their task. If you want to get that part that's over there, you need to break down this wall first, but what are you going to do in the meantime? Like many gamers, I am a very impatient person, and I can't be the only one. This fact is what sets Pikmin apart from other RTS titles. It's simple, but preys on typical gaming mentalities. It doesn't take a StarCraft player to know about time management. When you're put in Olimar's position, where you have this freedom to run around while Pikmin are busy completing their tasks, you naturally want to make the most of your time. You ever notice how everything in Pikmin takes a long time in general? Carrying items back to base takes a long time, breaking walls takes a long time, and some enemies can be fought without Olimar's help, so they take a long time. With the mere 13 or so minutes you have each day in the game, you're forced to make the most of your time. You don't have to like RTSs to like Pikmin, merely because every everything is broken down nicely for you. There's no micromanagement. Controlling Pikmin as a group is all you can do, so the best way to handle them is in groups. Considering the different colors and their different abilities, it's not hard to see where each one is useful. It's easy to make mental note of the parts that you see around the map that are clearly meant for a certain color of Pikmin. Whenever one group is handling one thing, you remind yourself that the blue Pikmin could be picking up that piece that's in the water over there. Even with small amounts of Pikmin, you can take the time to harvest pellets since you will have a few casualties. In later games, they offered more captains, which allows you to handle multiple groups of Pikmin across the map. The series has gotten a lot more complex over its duration, but the fact remains that they are still a lot simpler than the typical real-time strategy game. It's not just the perspective that makes the series different from other RTS titles, it's the means in which it teaches players of all kinds how to manage time. It would be silly to wait around for your group of Pikmin to get anything done. You could have one group building a bridge, while another group is bringing back a piece of the ship, which gives you some free time to throw yellow Pikmin with bombs at a wall to break it down for later. It's a barebones reimagining of the RTS genre, done in such a way that any player can understand how to manage their time. That is what makes Pikmin unique. Be sure to like this video if you've enjoyed it, and click that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos that discuss what makes any video game stand out. Thanks for watching.